I'm live. Hi, free spirit beaters. How are you guys doing today? So first things first, let's talk about um, I forgot to mute my computer. Sorry about that. All right. <laughs> so welcome back, Free Spirit Feeders. I'm your host, Kristen Fagan. I'm here on the Softlex Company YouTube channel. And today we're going to be doing a double hoop earring made with Softlex wear. I'm going to um, show you guys the macrame bracelets we made last week. And then we're going to make little hoop earrings to match. And uh, before I get going, I wanted to let you know that today is the final day for the buy two soft flex medium beading wire spools. Get a free earring booklet, earring projects booklet. It is a booklet full with about 12 um, different projects, very sculptural, modern designs, very easy. Um, great for beginners or someone that just wants to change the direction of how they're doing earrings. It also talks about our different wire brands and what they're used for as well as crimping and um, crimping instructions and all that good stuff. So buy any two Softlex medium 0.019 spools. It could be any color, it could be any length, um, and you will get a free projects book earring projects booklet thrown in actually see it in your cart we only have five booklets left as last I just checked um, so if you don't see it go into your cart or you also have to be a retail customer so you need to be a, a placing a retail order to get the deal um, if you don't see it go into your cart automatically it could mean that we have sold out of them because at that point they just won't drop in any longer so just five left if you want one go ahead hurry up and get over there and that sale ends today um, and yeah so let's get making earrings all right hold on a second let me put you guys down on my work table if you're here I see there's a few people watching say hello so I know who's here with me today I tell you, this afternoon sun, now that the sun has changed, is giving me a tough time with my setup. I feel like every week I keep moving. Evie Bead is here. Hi, Evie Bead. Welcome. So let me show you guys what we're up to today. So I've got some tools here. I've got my chain nose plier. I've got my Softlex professional flush cutter and a magical crimping plier. I also have my Softlex wire in medium 0.019 diameter. I have a couple of colors here today. I've got um, purple amethyst, red jasper, and green turquoise. I've got a bead stopper, two ear wires, uh, simple ear wires in gold color, and two two by two gold filled Softlex crimp tubes. And I'm also working with these Tierra Cast Antique Gold Deco Cubes again. They are five by seven millimeters, if you just want an idea of size. And this is the bracelet we made last week. It is Softlex Green Turquoise, the Half Knot Spiral Macrame with those same Tierra Cast Antique Gold Deco Beads. We made them in a few colors. And we're gonna make some earrings today to match. So I have, just show you some of the colors we made. We did a blue topaz. 
And here are little double hoop earrings to match that one. And then I also have the purple amethyst. And I did one in red in uh, the red jasper, but with the silver, the silver beads. So I'm gonna show, I'll probably not do the red jasper today since I only have the gold. I'll do the I'll do the purple amethyst to match the purple bracelet we made. Last week, and that was this one here. And then I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways to change up the wire color and the beads, but using the same technique. So you can get a couple of different ideas for this earring out of it. Um, I love to make earrings like this with my scrap wire. So when you're working with Softlex wire, I always keep a little bag of scraps with me. So anytime I decide to change an idea or I have you know, a lot of leftover wire, I cut it out and put it in this little bag. And this is great for when you're working with earrings. So you don't have to always cut it straight off the spool. You can save yourself a little bit by being resourceful and holding on to those scraps. Okay, so let me move all this stuff out of my work area. And I've got a nice long strand of the purple amethyst here. I'm just gonna take off these beads. I'm using four deco cubes per earring. So this strand I'm going to cut in half. It'll end up being about 10 inches for each one. And depending on the size of your earrings, you can have more wire or less wire. Um, this size here, I used about six inches of wire. But for video purposes, I wanted to use a little bit more just so I don't run out as I'm talking with you guys. So you can possibly use less once you're comfortable with the technique. So just pick up one strand. And let's string on four beads. Actually three. We're gonna start with the three because we're gonna do our bottom our bottom loop first. So string three beads. Then you're gonna string one soft flex two by two millimeter crimp tube onto one strand. And you're gonna take the other side and feed it back through that crimp tube, making a circle, your first loop. Just like that. And now you get to decide how large you want your loop to be. I have one side a little bit shorter and then I have this side longer because this side's gonna feed back through my crimp tube. So on the longer side, I'm gonna string one more bead. And I'm gonna take this end and string it back through the crimp tube, creating another loop. And then you just tug on that end to adjust your circles. You can tug on each end actually to adjust your circles until you're happy with it. I think I'm gonna go with a little bit bigger of a design on this one, so that one looks good. Pick up your magical crimping plier. I'm just gonna make sure that my crimp is centered the way I want it. 
and then I'm gonna if you've never used this tool before, it's called the Magical Crimping Plier. It works for Softflex 0.019 medium wire and with the two by two millimeter crimp tubes. You're gonna place your crimp tube right in the center of this notch. There's a half, there's like a half circle on each side of the tool. So you're gonna place your crimp tube right in the center, give it a good squeeze and it's gonna take it and make it look like a little ravioli. So you'll have four pinched corners. Then you place it back into your crimp tube 90 degree angle in that same notch centered, give it a squeeze. And then you're just gonna sort of lift, kind of pump and squeeze all the way around. And do that about five times until you've got your crimp done. So let's see how nice that little crimp is. And then you can trim off the excess wire. And if some pieces are kind of long, you can save the longer ones for a different project. Next, you'll pick up your ear wire and your chain nose pliers. You grab a hold of your ear wire loop and just give your hand a little twist to open it. Slide on your earring. Grab the end of that loop again and just twist it back to close it. And there you have it. Hi Anna, welcome. I'm glad you made it too. I am just making some double loop earrings with soft flex wire and the same colors and deco beads that we used on our macrame design last week. So now I'll just make my second one. So there's my first. You're going to string on three, three beads. My wire length is about 10 inches that I'm working with. So you string on your three beads, grab a hold of your two millimeter crimp tube. Slide the crimp on one end, take your other end, go back through your crimp to create your first hoop. And you're gonna want one side to be a little bit longer, a little bit longer tail than the other. And then I'm just gonna do a quick check to see how close I am. I just wanna make that a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna string on your next bead on the longer tail. You're gonna take that longer tail, pick up your earring, go back through that crimp tube to make your second loop. And then you're just gonna play with the two tails until you get your wire to be the length you want. I'm just gonna take this one out because I noticed that my wires crossed. And when I pull it here, I'll show you. When I pull it tight, you'll see that my wires are a little oddly crossed right here, which is gonna make it not hang the way I really want it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that second tail back out and I'm gonna straighten out my wires again. All right, hold this one down. 
go back through there like that and then you can use your tails to pull and now I have them sitting a little bit nicer I can even tuck this one down and now I'm gonna play this is kind of the toughest part is just figuring out um, how to match your first earring with your second earring I always like to joke that it's a good thing your earrings are on two sides of your head, so they don't have to be exactly perfect, just close enough that it's not super noticeable. Then I'm taking my magical crimping pliers, putting the crimp right in the center, giving it a good squeeze, turning that 90 degrees, placing it in the center again, going all the way around. And then I'm going to trim off. And just be careful not to cut your loops when you're trimming off your wire. And there you go, easy peasy. We're just gonna add our ear wire. Take your chain nose pliers. Twist your wrist to slowly open up the loop. Slide on your earring and twist it back. Now your earrings do slide a little bit, but I find that the weight of the beads help to keep it from getting too out of uh, out of balance so there you have it in a couple of different sizes so I just used the same technique but made my loops a little bit smaller on that one and then made them even smaller still on this one And I have a couple of other examples. So you can change up your wire color. This is using the tanzanite. I'm gonna push you guys and just fire polish beads. I also have here some black wire with red beads. That I thought would be fun to show and then I also have some red and green beads which ones would you guys like me to do next the green beads with the red wire or the red beads with the black wire They are super fast and easy earrings, Southlex says. <laughs> fast and easy earrings make for last minute holiday gifts. Yeah, it's one of my favorite style of earrings to make for gifts because you can do a ton in a really short time and you don't have to use a lot of beads for them. You don't even have to use a lot of wire. They're really nice. All right, let's go with the green and the red, says Anna and Southlex Company. So you guys, I'm not working on a bead mat today. I tried to just use a white background um, to see how that would look, but I'm not sure. I love it on camera. What do you guys think? I actually think it's a little easier to see when I have the bead mat, but maybe you guys feel differently. Let me know in the comments if I should bring back the bead mat. I don't know, I just feel like there's a little bit more of a shadow that happens. But you guys tell me what you think on your end. All right, so I'm gonna take off these beads, cut my wire,
So I'm working with two 10 inch strands of soft flex beading wire in the red coral color. And I'm gonna string on three of these beads. And for this, I'm gonna use the sterling silver two by two millimeter crimp tubes. So after your three beads are on, just string on your crimp tube on one end, string your other end back through to create your first hoop, the larger hoop of the two. Then, you're going to string one more bead on this longer tail. Go back through the crimp tube. I think the beading mat looks better, Softlex says. I agree. I was trying to give it like a cleaner look, but I feel like when I'm looking at it on the screen, there's a bit of a shadow making it more difficult. So I think I'll make it about that size. These seem like they'd be fun a little bit bigger since the, the beads are bigger. The only thing you need to think about when you're making your little loops here, when is when you make your smaller loop, you wanna make sure you can get your tool inside to crimp. So when you're thinking about the size of the small loop, just before you try and crimp, go ahead and do a little test and make sure it fits in there. Place that crimp tube in your crimper center, give it a good squeeze, turn it 90 degrees, put it back in the center notch, give it another good squeeze, and then pump and squeeze around a few times. There you have it. Trim off your ends. And then I've got a little silver toned ear wire to add. Anna says, you're right, there is a shadow. Yeah. Yeah, I think the bead mat kind of soaks up the light in a way because of the material that it is and probably gives you guys a lot less of a shadow. And there you go. Oh, what a fun, festive earring that one is. So this one is using fire polish beads um, in a green with a little bit of a yellowness on them. And then I'm using the red coral soft flex beading wire with that. Oh, I think that would be a really fun holiday earring to wear or gift or both one for me one for you right <laughs> that's usually how I design how about you guys <laughs> if I can if I have enough materials I tend to do one for me one for you <laughs> So if you've never worked with Softflex beading wire before, Softflex is a microwoven stainless steel braided beading wire that is colored and nylon coated. And so it's super flexible. Oh, my little loop popped out. It's super flexible, really easy to work with, very strong and um, kink resistant. It's just all around an awesome beading wire product. And we come in over 20 colors in our medium size, which is our all purpose and most used diameter. We do have a few colors in our fine as well as our heavy, but the bulk of the colors come in our medium. All right, so let's see if we've got the same size. That 
looks good. Go ahead and crimp. trim off your excess wire using your chain nose pliers you're just gonna take the end of your loop on your ear wire and give your wrist a little twist up slide on your earring grab the end again and then twist it back down and you're all set super cute fun to wear light weight and really quick and easy for gifts I mean we were just a couple of minutes here and we pulled together a few pairs of earrings and if you haven't seen the macrame video, I encourage you to go take a look at that one too because that's just a really fun project as well. So that's it for today. Let me turn you guys up and give you a little uh, information what else we've got going on over here at Softlex Company. I hope you guys enjoyed that project today and we'll give it a try. It's really fun, it's super easy. You can use it with all different combinations of beads and wire colors and just have a blast. Um, we have some new two by two crimp tubes in a blackened finish, which I have not gotten my hands on yet, but, and we also have some gunmetal ear wires um, now available at Softlex. Those are two new products that are in. And so if you're working with black wire or you really like those darker gunmetal kind of colors, those crimps and ear wires would be a great addition to the combinations you make of this type of uh, double hoop earring. Um, couple of things to let you know about the BOGO that's going on. There were only five booklets left when I checked before the video. So if you buy two spools of soft flex wire in medium, the any length, any color, you'll get a free booklet and it will, if it's a retail order, it'll automatically add the booklet to your cart. If you don't see that happen, we may have sold out. Like I said, there were only five left. So hurry over if you're interested in that. Um, this week, November 14th, on the Softlex Company Facebook page, Sarah Ayler is gonna be doing a live design challenge with Saki Silver, and I'm excited to see that. I love Saki Silver products, and so if you wanna check us out on Facebook, just go over and look for Softlex Company, um, or we also will post a replay here on our YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get updates on when those videos have been posted. Um, next week, I'll be here again on Monday with another episode, and we're going to actually be talking about knitting spools and knitting soft flex wire. This is a project I did already on our channel. You can find this in the Free Spirit Beading um, playlist. And this was a bracelet knitting spool project. So I'm gonna come, I'm gonna be here with a new project on Monday, a different style to show you guys and share with you on that. And then also on the 26th, mark your calendar, we're gonna be having a cyber sale on the Softlex Company Facebook page. Um, so it'll be all sorts of goodies. I have no idea what's in it. I know Sarah and James and everyone, Rosa in the office, have all been very busy um, working on what's gonna be in that sale. And there's gonna be some great, great deals. So if you want to check that out, it'll also be on Facebook um, at Softlex Company. And on the 26th, we'll be doing that sale. 
All right, well, I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so much for being here with me, and I hope you give these double hoop earrings a try. If you do and you want to share them with us, um, we have a VIB group that I saw that Softflex Company just posted the link to our Facebook VIB studio group. Um, where we connect and share and, and post pictures of things we're working on. So you're welcome to join us over there and share what you're working on and ask questions, all that kind of stuff. Um, all right. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for tuning in. Have a great week. Bye. Anna says, good project. Thanks, Kristen. Thank you so much, Anna. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and for being here. I'll see you next time.